Would you now agree inappropriate comments? Um, yeah, of course I'd agree it's inappropriate. Um, not uh, clever. Uh, by no means uh, did I expect it to, you know, take this course. And I have to be incredibly honest, you know, and the tapes are there, you know, uh, on my children's life, you know, I never ever called Tracy Grimshaw a lesbian. Having a reference, you know, to innuendos, um, a picture of a pig, that was not clever. Yeah. But I'm going to put my hand up in the air and, you know, apologise for hurting her feelings. But also, on a personal front, it was never a vicious attack like it's been played out to be. I made a strong attempt on Saturday to contact her, and I suppose like any you know, sort of petulant teenager gets frustrated when you get ignored. And the whole thing just escalated. It was done in a joke um, fashion, and it was in conjunction with, you know, an outbreak of swine flu. I felt ill when I first arrived here, and uh, I had a picture of a pig that wasn't um, uh, anything to do with Tracy, but there's a cross-reference to it um, two minutes later. So it was tongue-in-cheek at the time, clearly not clever uh, now, but more importantly, somewhat mortified that this whole thing has just exploded. It, it, it was stupid and it was very careless, but it was not there to, to hurt in any way. But it did. It hurt Tracy, it hurt her mum. Uh, uh, listen, I've had my mum on the phone this morning. So your, when, your mum. when your mum rings you and it's, you know, uh, a bollocking down the telephone, then of course, yeah, you start to get the picture. What'd she say? Um, she was uh, disgusted and she uh, wanted to know what actually happened. The day before we had the interview uh, on the show, that was all fine and uh, I always like to have a little bit of a sort of laugh because, you know, she's a professional and it was light-hearted banter, really. I think that's what's mm. the puzzling thing about this. The following day, doing the demonstration, um, we had a picture of this uh, lady on all fours and it was like an effect of a swine flu and someone cross-referenced, you know, uh, Tracy. I turned around and said, you're going to get me into serious trouble. That's not the case. I did not say that was Tracy Grimshaw on that picture. And then the whole thing just sort of, you know, took on a, a different course. I mean, you're a clever man, Gordon. Yeah. You say what you did is not clever, but you're a clever man. You know when you've pushed the button too far. That's my um, maybe uh, level of uh, over-assertiveness in a way that it becomes, um, you know, somewhat stupid. Mm. I, um, I didn't set out to do, you know, what's been done. I suppose what I didn't envisage was the whole thing getting out of control. I said some very flippant things in my time and I've, I, I, I call it as I see it. So having a, a, a pratting around joke from a man's point of view about, you know, a renowned professional journalist um, and calling her a pig is not clever. Is this an unreserved apology? I made attempts in many ways on Saturday to phone her. Is this? Well, it is in many ways, but it would like to be done face to face. That's the kind of guy I am. There's the camera. It was very weird saying, I mean, I, I must say face to face. I'd rather Tracy was sat there than, than you. Well, Tracy's going to be looking at this. Um, right, okay. Um, I'll just finish my sentence and yeah. I'll come on to that. Yeah. So, it was not just stupid, but at the time you're in front of an audience of 3,000. You are creating uh, a laugh, you get carried away in the moment, and then you, you, you don't have time to edit what's being said when you're live. So, uh, Tracy, where do I start? Um, first of all, um, you've shown me great respect and amazing uh, support, I think, over the last three or four years. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to apologise um, for the stupid comments and uh, deeply mortified that the whole thing has gone this far. My apologies. I suppose when you're visiting a country and that country's Prime Minister refers to you as a lowlife, mm -hmm. that's got to hurt. You see, this whole thing has been taken out of text, like I said over the last 48 hours, not just scrutinising the tapes. I never called Tracy Grimshaw a lesbian. No, but so for, yeah, but, so excuse me. So when the Prime Minister refers to me calling Tracy Grimshaw a lesbian pig, it's factually incorrect. Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, Federal Health Minister. Oh, you don't need to go down. When you hit the Prime yeah. Minister, trust yeah. me. You get the message from, from our pollies uh, and the public. Listen, yeah, I, I'm not smarting on this. I, yeah. I, I said to you, um, 
whether it was a bouquet of flowers, which sounds a little bit creepy, um, I wanted to talk to Tracy face to face. The minute I knew I'd overstepped the mark, so I put my hand up and I, I admit that it was stupid, but you know, you're here today, I, I tried to rectify this on Saturday, being hounded and you know, propelled. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't need to continue mm -hmm. jibbing, but that's, that's, that's where it started going seriously wrong. I'm like a school child. Someone shows me attention and it's funny. That's what I am. I've made a big mistake. I've gone too far. If any of you guys had called my wife a pig um, and it was in front of me, uh, I'd, I'd punch your lights out. And I'm, uh, I am deeply, deeply sorry for the hurt that's been caused. And I accept full responsibility and I want to put it to bed. Is humble pie normally one of your specialties? Humble pie is uh, something that, uh, from this day on, in, is something I'll be eating for breakfast for the rest of my life. One final word now on all of this, and believe me, it'll be brief. I didn't expect Gordon Ramsay to apologise. I didn't ask for it, and I didn't think it would help. But it has, and I accept it. I told him that in a phone call he made to me just a short time ago. The reason I didn't take his call on Saturday was that he was insisting through third parties back then that it was all just a joke and I really wasn't interested in debating the toss with him on whether or not I had a right to be insulted. I didn't believe an apology was on offer that day and his escalating attacks over the next couple of days convinced me that conclusion had been right. He told me today he kept sniping because I hadn't taken that call. I believe it's taken a lot for a bloke with Gordon's sort of personality to turn around from all that he's said in the past four days and offer what he has today, and I appreciate it. Finally, let me clarify something that I feel is important. In all of the insults that were flung around during these days, the insinuation that I was gay, whatever word was used, was not one of them. Some of my best friends are gay and their homosexuality is as irrelevant to me as my heterosexuality is to them. I addressed it on Monday night purely because I wanted to rebuke him for taking a pot shot at my private life when his had been so clearly off limits. Our conversation today was polite and genuine and I'm glad of it. I really don't plan to say any more.